gentleman and we're talking about Michael Dunlop. Arguably the most powerful bike out there, 225 brake horsepower, the full factory engine in the whole racing machine. Michael Dunlop comes to the finishing line, the 25-year-old from Balamani. He's been in five races this week. He's won four. But Dunlop has been absolutely supreme. His 13th TT win, and he's pretty pumped about that, and so he should be. How about that? Suzuki back on the top step of the Isle of Man. From our side, obviously you're working with what I class as the world's best road racer. So it's an honour to work with a Dunlop really. Sometimes it doesn't always seem like that, but that's just passion from both sides, I think, coming out to do it. So I guess that's why it, we come together in the end to make it happen again. Did you grasp from that conversation that I'm hard work? No. We've always been in a situation, me and Steve, where we've been robbing Peter to pay Paul. It's always been the case, either I think he owes me something, he thinks I owe him something, and we just end up in a, in a vicious circle. At the end of the day, he's been able to pull me out of a hole numerous times. I keep coming back to know what he's capable of. I'm confident enough in the team, so we'll just see what they're going to make out of this new job, really. Yeah, obviously it's a big decision when you've sort of the official back team of another manufacturer but six years passed and no sort of firm guarantees that a new model is coming from that manufacturer so you have to look at what's available across both the disciplines that we want to do which is BSB and the road racing and uh, it's important for the roads that you've got a super stock bike that you can keep pretty similar to your super bike because you're jumping from bike to bike so often in between sessions. Clearly Honda had a really strong TT with Paget's team especially and they had a really strong BSP with Glenn in the British Championship so I think there's our goal really. If we're strong in BSP or we're top under there and we can at least be top under at the roads and it's clear that Peter and Dean are the goal to beat and that's what we'll set out to do. You can't make a team change their, uh, what they want to do and Steve's goal obviously wants to be in a better position uh, and, he's, and he's done what he thinks is right to, to do so and, and, and to try and transfer these bikes around pretty quick and, and, and obviously start from scratch is, is quite demanding on them but I think they've done a good job and, a, uh, and I think they will do a good job. It's, it's hard like, but at the end of the day you know, the job is to try and do the best we can and, and uh, keep pushing. I think if someone's won 21 TTs, you'd be pretty daft lining up thinking that second or third is the expectation, I guess. But obviously if there's two number one pots after that, that's the goal. I wouldn't say it's the expectation because it's racing, anything can happen. But of course, we want to try and make the tally grow from five. Lake Mere hate me. I've won 21 TTs. 95% of the people out there that race motorbikes don't understand what it's took for me to be here today, what happens in the background, what can happen in the background, what it leaves in the background. I've put as much percentage in and I just expect people to do the same and that's just the long and the short of it. I know what it takes for this sport.